so guys currently i'm using let me show you when were uh the windows version 23h2 so as you know guys 24h2 is released i mean rollout almost so what you can do here go on this page i will provide the link in the description and you can also see here the current release windows 11 24 2024 update version 24h2 right and now if you want to install this there are three options below for installing and creating windows 11 media check out each one to determine the best option for you before installing please refer to the pc health check you can also go with this app if your pc doesn't support like secure boot or tpm or even if you don't know you can use the pc health check application otherwise the best option is go with the installation assistant just download it and launch it once you launch this use the pc health check app to check check com uh, compatibility to see if your device meet the system requirement run windows 11 use the pc here okay so let's download this application first it's around 13.636 mb let's open this i accept and then install click on finish click on check now okay now my pc support very well now just close it <laughs> go back on the assistant refresh it and here we go uh last update april 2024 microsoft software lesson terms okay you can read this and then click on accept and install now you need to wait here first it will download then it will ready and then it will install i guess so so let's wait here so on step two no step three it's all it's okay to keep you uh, using your pc but uh, we will restart your pc 30 minutes after we reach 100 percent on the screen so be sure to save your work frequently so again we need to wait here because now the installation process in. guys it's uh, almost done so right now i'm pausing here my recording just because it will take a reboot so after that i will show you what come next so we can follow that further i'm pausing here right now and that's it guys now simply click on the windows icon and type winver and you can check it out i mean the latest version is now installed in your pc now one more thing you can do here after the installation and uh, that is remove or you can say clean the older version of your operating system from your pc it will also free up uh, space in your pc for that click on the windows search icon and then you need to type here the disk cleanup and then open this program now choose here the drive where basically you install the operating system mostly it's c drive so choose the c drive right now one more thing you need to do here click on the clean up system files right and again choose the drive and then click on ok now also if we go into the c drive sorry you can see here the windows old which is like 2023 and it's around you can see damn bro it's uh 29.2 gb which is so far okay now you need to select all options from here once you have done this you can see here we will get 23.3 gb free space just click on delete and then delete that's it and definitely it will free up your text space as well So if you clean up the preview window 
uh, Windows installation or temporary installation files, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the preview version of Windows. Are you sure that you want to do this? Of course, uh, you can do this. But the thing is, after doing this, make sure you need to create a new fresh restore point. Right now, uh, you install a fresh window and probably there's uh, no error or any kind of bug in your operating system. So you can create a restore point, which is important. Just type here the, sorry, create a restore point and then open it. And uh, the thing is, first you need to make sure enable the protection by clicking on the configuration and then turn on the system protection. Now you don't need to increase this at all. Just click on hit apply. Okay. And then create a restore point now give it any name like windows 11 24 h2 and then click on restore point okay this is totally a part of demo guys make sure do this after uh, this cleanup process right don't do this like while cleaning up takes space and creating a restore point is a bad choice so first this cleanup and then make sure create a restore point the best ways uh, if you have any other question please let me know in the comment section i will catch you in the next video have a good day bye bye